Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how to download our Google content using Takeout, Google Takeout. So prior to leaving the school district, seniors or staff who are retiring or resigning should really look at their Google content and decide what they want to take with them when they leave. However, you can't just share the content with another Google account. You need to download it. That's where Google Ta Takeout comes in. Go to Google Takeout at takeout.google.com. You need to log in with your Bethlehem account and then start here where it says create a new export. So in this video, I'm going to concentrate on Google Drive. So there are many different things that Google has, including Google Drive, Blogger, Calendar, and more. I'm not going to be downloading all of those things, just Google Drive, that one thing. So I'm going to deselect all. So it says zero here out of 55 things. And I'm going to put a check by Drive, my Google Drive. I want to download things from Drive. So let's take a look at the options. Um, I'm gonna click on multiple formats. For the most part, you may leave all of these the same. Uh, it is going to download Google Docs as Microsoft Word files. Uh, there's no such thing as Google Docs that are not in Google. Uh, it will convert them. But no problem, you can upload them to another Google Drive or use them in Microsoft Word. Drawings that you made will be JPEGs, uh, Jamboards, PDFs, presentations or slides as P uh, PowerPoints, spreadsheets as Excel, and anything you uploaded, like I mentioned, like video or audio, it will keep it in the original format. So I'm going to click OK. I didn't make any changes there, just wanted to point that out to you. Then where it says all drive data included, right now this is set that everything in my drive is going to be downloaded. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you only want that one folder where you put everything in that you want. So let's change that from all drive data included. Click on it. And then you would, to change this, you would uncheck include all files and folders in drive. And then I'm going to click on where it says deselect all. And then I'm going to uh, just check the files or the, these are the folders that I want to take with me. Okay. And then I'm going to click on OK. So now two folders are selected. I'm going to scroll down and click on Next Step. And I'm going to transfer uh, the destination for where these are going to go. It's going to be a download link and I'm going to get an email when it's ready. So I'm going to export it once. I'm just leaving everything the same. It will be in a file that has zip on the end of it that I can open up and I'm going to leave the file size as two gigs. If you download more than two gigs of space, it will split it into multiple files. I'm going to click on create export and then I could walk away. Um, if you are going to download a lot of data, it may take longer for you to get that email notifying you when it is ready. But since I am doing a real quick one, I'm going to go check my um, email right now. And there it is. Google Takeout. Your Google data is ready to download. So again, it may take longer depending on how much you're downloading. I'm going to open it up and then this is the one I want. It is the one I just did and it looks like this, your account, your data, and it told me when the copy is requested today, May 2nd, 
and that I have seven days to download it. If I get to this email after the 9th, I just repeat those steps that I did before to make a new takeout. I'm going to click on download your files or my files. And it's going to go by very quickly after I put my password in. So I'm on a Chromebook here. And there it is. It downloaded it very quickly. I was taken to the page where I can see all of my requests for download and I can click here to get it as well. But very conveniently, when I click on that little message in the lower right, when it's ready, it shows me where it is. So it's actually in my Google Drive at the moment and I need to download it from there. So it's highlighting the file that I just made, it's called Takeout and it has the timestamp in it and it shows me how big it is. Now I have a USB drive connected here to my Chromebook, so I'm going to open it up and I'm going to click on this and drag it onto that USB and it is copying that. So why would I do that? Well, because my computer, I need to turn in at the end of the year before I leave, and my Google Drive, uh, I won't be able to access at a certain point. Uh, after you leave, your access will be terminated. So you need to make sure that it's on either something that you can take with you, like a USB drive, or you can log into a personal computer in with your Bethlehem account and download it to that computer. So make sure that you do that so that you do not lose access. Okay, hope this was helpful.